Hi there, thanks for joining me. Happy Saturday. I am still working on the cover. It's actually the same day as yesterday's video, so if you're thinking she's wearing the same clothing again, <laughs> I am. It's the same day. <laughs> little secret. But I just thought, you know what, I have a simple little thing to do. Not sure how long it'll take, but uh, let's bring you along because I'm really, really, really happy. And I'm so glad that um, that I sort of had overnight to think about whether I wanted to cover up that spine or not. And uh, and then when I finally decided, I don't want to cover up that spine. I like the lines on it. I like the black and gold lines. If I can just cover up um, the other wording and put what I want on it, um, then it would be a really awesome spine. So I've used a little bit of everything. I've borrowed some things from... Um, I've bored some things. Hold on, I've got to move. I just, I just got back in from outside because I, I had to seal this. We, we, um, yesterday, <laughs> we inked the spine, and wowie, did we do a good job, or did we do a good job? My goodness, we make a good team. Um. So I took it outside, since it's such a nice day out. Uh, I took it outside and I gave it two coats of Mod Podge Matte Aerosol. Not the kind, the aerosol. And um, if you recall, I was going to use um, the signatures or try to use signatures from Edith's Christmas postcards and uh, so I just thought since I'm ruining the this one on this side by taking these uh, I might as well take that third one you never know when you can use an Edith Holden signature correct of course so um, I tried all three and uh, the, the various sizes where this was too big. It, it could have worked, could have worked, but a little too big. This one was a little too small, kind of like the porridge in the little cottage with the bears. Um, but then this one was just right. So I cut it out and then I, I inked it a bit more. I didn't like the shade it was. It was actually this color and I wanted it more um, yellowy. So uh, I, I used coffee, not, not literal coffee. Oh, oh, not coffee, coffee. This coffee. You can tell the ones that I get from when I cross the border into Buffalo and the ones that I buy up here in Canada. Isn't that interesting? Um, because we are a bilingual country, everything has to be labeled in English and in French. Whereas this, you can tell, this was purchased... Uh, most likely either in Niagara Falls, New York, or Buffalo, New York, or Hamburg, New York, or Williamsville. <laughs> One of those little cute little communities around there. Big fan, if I can ever get back there again, that would be wonderful. Um, anyhow, so I used coffee, and then I also went in dark around the edges with potting soil. And then I decided that wasn't even dark enough. And believe it or not, I like these little ink pads that you can get at the checkout. There's a bin of them, at least in the Canadian Michaels. They have a row of bins of really cheap things. And uh, usually just a couple of dollars. 
and uh, they have these Studio Line pigment ink um, acid free ink pads. And I, they're actually a decent little ink pad. And uh, so I used it, and I, I'm not going to take the lid off because I don't want to ruin this. But if you just dab, dab, dab along the edge, you can give a nice little edge to anything that you're working on that you want just the finest little black edge on um it's it's just a nice way of you dab 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 like that all along the edge and um so i did that and uh, i'm very happy with how that turned out and that's going to go right there as if maybe um, this all sorts book, this little catch all commonplace book, might have belonged to someone else at some point. You know? You never know. Um, so that's going to go right there. Now the next two things that I'm going to use to cover up this and to cover up Garden City Publishing Company. Um, boy, the only Garden City I know of. Or I might be thinking wrong. Is there a Garden City, New Jersey? I know when I was a child, we used to in the summertime go to Wildwood, New Jersey. My goodness, we had a lot of fun. <gasps> Oh, we we used to go on the beach all day long, and then we'd come home, have dinner, and then go back down to the boardwalk at night, and oh, we had a blast. I still have, my dad won me a teddy bear at the water gun, where you, you aim the water gun, and it fills the balloon, and the first to pop the balloon wins, and you can pick what you want. And my dad was the kind of man He'd just stand and watch for the first night. He stood and watched, and uh, he just started watching. But there was always one gun that always won. And uh, so uh, by, I forget what night it was, second or third night, uh, he decided, okay, I'm going to try. And when that gun became available, up he went. Bam, won me a teddy bear. Played again, bam, won one for my sister-in-law. Uh, won again, won again. I forget how many he went, won. By the end, we were giving away. We just couldn't bring all the stuffed animals home <laughs> that my father won at, the, at, this, uh, at this little booth with the water gun. <laughs> But I had one that was my favorite, and her name was Taffy, and she was the color of butterscotch taffy, toffee. And uh, I still have her in my cedar chest. Whether anyone will ever want her one day, or whether a great-great-grandchild will go, what the heck's this? <laughs> and it'll go, or wait, maybe one day she'll become real, and uh, she'll just disappear somewhere. Anyhow, I should post a picture of Taffy so you can see how worn out from love she is. She's a perfect shape for hugging while you sleep. That's my arm hugging Taffy while I sleep. She was a koala bear, but a, a caramely gold koala bear. Anyhow, I'm really off topic as ever. I, I am stunned at the followers who continue to put up with listening to me blather on and on. I am making use of these labels. I'm in love with this book. I'm going to use every last label. I found this tiny little label called Sketchbook. Of course, it wasn't as as grimy as I wanted it to be. So again, I got out my my distress inks and I also did my dab 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 with the black ink pad. And it fits right over Garden City Publishing just perfectly. Sketchbook. Isn't that perfect? And then the last one is also from the uh, Vintage Labels book. 
Hold on. It's got, it's got a bit of gunk on it because I, I glossed over them with Liquitex Gloss Gel Medium, not the, the Ultra Matte. <laughs> and I found I found this one that says botanical and then you can I can't make out what it is but it, I can make out that it says April 7th 1875 which I loved and it's probably an inappropriate year for Miss Edith but it covers that perfectly and again I still want this just to be like an Edith all sorts book so maybe she had an all sorts book or I don't know um, so that's what we're going to do right now is we are going to glue these on and we're going to hold our breath while we do it because you know I tend to do things <sighs> and scare myself in the meantime <laughs> so uh, good old three in one because It will hold paper to fabric. It will make me the happiest holding paper to fabric. So I'm going to get it ready to go. And I think I may try and pull the camera down closer so you can see what I'm doing. So give me a second. Okay, so let's get to work. I wonder if I should work from the top down because if I work from the bottom up I may but I feel like I want to do the little one first just in case there's just in case I make a mess so here's where I find it best to um, Um, tweezers are your good friend. I just want a thin layer because I don't want it to goop out the sides because it's going to dry shiny. But I do want a good adherence. So I'm not squeezing right now. I'm mostly using the nozzle to spread it around. In case you're thinking, why is she putting more on then? I'm not. All right, so now I hope I'm not too loud and too close. Let go, thank you. Now the nice thing about three in one is it gives you a little bit of time to do a little bit of this kind of adjusting and then tiny tiny pats oh that looks great if the dog wasn't asleep i think i'd squeal with joy right now but i ain't poking that little bear over there because she's asleep and i'm happy Dog mama. All right, Miss Edith. Let's do the second one. Let's get some of this off. I should have thought to clean it first. I use my tweezers in this studio, I would dare say, every single day. I don't know if you're a tweezer kind of person. I'm definitely a tweezer kind of artist. Because I can I can get that much glue over and still hold it securely. I'm still going to do it over here just in case. I'm just giving the tiniest squeeze to this bottle. 
And then when I think I'm done, I will stop squeezing and just simply use the nozzle to spread around, like I said with the other one. I'm just spreading now. There we go. And I have to stand up to do this. And it doesn't go. Oh my goodness, that was the perfect size. It just barely covered it. I was prepared to have a little bit of the gold of the other, the lettering underneath. I was prepared to have it stick out a bit if I had to, because I think it probably would have gone barely noticed. Uh oh. Okay. We've got possibly an emergency situation. Right here, there is a bit of squeezed out um, three in one. And here's, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again in case you're new here. It's very tempting to wipe that right now. Leave it alone. Don't touch it. Just let it dry because it's in a bit of a glop. And let it dry. I'm still going to see if I can make sure the rest is adhered. But I'm not going to go down there. Let that dry because once it's dry, you'll be able to roll it off either with your finger or with an eraser. Um, and it will come off because, of course, three in one dries shiny. Right? That still had a little bit of movement there. Okay. That's still got a little bit of the, don't know if you can see it there, the gel medium. Gel medium would work very well as a, um, to glue it down as well. So if, if you don't have three in one in this situation, if I if say I was all out of three in one, I would, I would use this. It, it would hold it. But I've got three in one. I'm going to use it. I just want to get some. Of, I did two layers of the gel medium because I really wanted a nice, a nice gloss to it. There we go. And then I'm going to show you uh, my plans for, whether we get started on it or not, my plans for what I've chosen. Sorry, that's goopy. I've chosen what I think I want for the cover, but you know, that changes every single day. You could uh, turn on the next video and I'll say surprise! And it's a completely different cover than what I had told you I was going to do. Okay, again, j just very lightly, lightly squeezing. And now not squeezing at all. Just simply using the nozzle to spread. Oh, a little glop came out there. Dropping things here. I should have been prepared for that. Fortunately, I have time on my side. There we go. All right, I'm going to stand up again. I'm going to pull this down so you can see.
looks great. All right, now I want this out of my way because it's at that stage where it wants to blop out the end. What did I do with my... There. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I will back up in a second so we can take a look, see what we did. But first I want to turn this and just take that off. And there we go. It just rolled right off with my thumbnail. So when that happens to you, don't panic and don't go, oh, oh well, don't hit your phone as well. And swipe it because you'll wipe the glue right into the um, fabric or the surface. There we go. All right, I'm going to bring the bring this back up. There we go. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Look at that. So I got both things covered because it says botanical there, but it also says sketchbook down here. So that makes me really, really happy. I may still have fun and put some stickers back here. I love the way Anna from Made by Granath does that. I'm not ruling that out yet, but I have to think about it. Now, what I want to put on the cover, it might surprise you. Hmm. I've got my text block here from the one that we're working from. I don't know whether we'll, there it is, whether we'll be able to get to it today or not. Let me move this. Because my luck, I'm going to slop something on it. I'm going to do that gnarly old tree. It's named, it's called Among the Oaks. And I just really like it. And I like how she changed her signatures over the years. Because down in the corner here, she has E-B-H, so Edith Blackwell Holden. So that's what I think I want. Oh, good. I don't have to make a King Solomon choice. There's nothing on the back. I took a moment today. I'm so happy. And all of my craft knives all have fresh blades there. So I'm... Uh, I'm a happy girl. No need to um, Now you're making a liar in me. No need to worry is the blade dull or sharp? They're all sharp. They're all fresh. Oh hello. Bernard Holden in 1930, shortly before his death at 57. Oh my goodness, did they all die young? Bernard, or I wonder if they called him Bernard. I'd noticed in some British movies and that they'll pronounce it Bernard rather than Bernard. Let's see, because she had you can see here, oh yeah, that was her brother, Charles Bernard, or Charles Bernard. 
Oh, Winifred lived a long life. Wowee, almost a hundred, Winifred. It looks like she never married. That might be her answer. <laughs> Effie lived a long life into the 1950s. Arthur, not so much, and yet he had two wives. Edith, 48. We know she only made it to 48. Oh, Evelyn lived a long life. Evelyn lived... Uh, she just passed away in 1968. So, see, these little things thrill me. So, Evelyn... I would have been eight years old and she was still alive. I love that sort of thing. Wow, and same with Winifred. Wow. Yeah, Violet. Violet, uh, Violet Mary. And you never know, did they go by their first name or their middle name? Violet Mary. Went, uh, passed away young as well. I mean, such was the case. Sadly, back then they didn't have the treatments for whatever it was. I mean, for Edith it was accidental, but who knows what the others. Let's get this gut cleaned off. I love that about these silicone makeup brushes. Just peel the glue off when you're done. And I don't have to worry about so many paint brushes I have ruined over the years because I've turned out the lights in my little room here and just left and uh, yeah that's going to be nice. This, this will all come off. I'm going to lift it. I may I may do just on the sides, but not up over the top, uh, some gold gilding wax because um, I'll use chipboard to mount it onto so it's really nice and thick. So the sides will have a glimmer of gold because there's still little hints of gold in the stripes there. So there'll be a little hint of it there. And then... Um, Let's just get a taste of it. It's always nice to be able to put our imagination caps on, right? So I'll just, I'll get close, but not too close. It's nice to have some room when it's time to use your cutting blade. Give yourself a nice fresh edge once you've glued it on your chipboard. Yeah, I may save this. Oh, it's one of the earliest examples of her work to be found. She did it while she was in art school. Oh! Oh! So that will go there. And then, hold on. Hold on. We we need the full effect. We gotta we gotta have the full effect. This isn't the one I'll use, but it gives us a better idea. Oh, that's gonna look nice. Someone at the door? I don't think so, honey. Daddy's not due for another couple hours. That's gonna look nice. Well, there we go. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you didn't find it too tense, uh, or as tense as I did. <laughs> Yikes. But fun, right? I mean, that's, that's the whole point. It's fun. <sighs> All right. I am off because I have to figure out what's for dinner. I have no idea. I usually stick my head in the freezer, cross my fingers, and hope for inspiration. Take care.
have a great rest of your day. I hope you're doing well. And uh, we will get together soon. And uh, and hopefully uh, I will by then know what, um, what end papers I'm going to be using on the inside of this book. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye.